I would like to introduce following functions of SAP Conversational AI, in this video. 1. The function to get the entity values from API. 2. The function to show the custom message. Regarding the API, I will use the very simple Node.js application that was developed by me for this demo. At first, let me explain the contents of Node.js application that was used as API in this demo. If you send the request to the path get menu, this application returns the object that has keys title and menu. And menu has the array of food menu as the value. The path slash recommends returns the selected three menus based on the day of week. It returns the object that has keys title and menu, and menu has the array of object that has name and price. I use only these two paths in this demo. Slash get underscore menu for the function to get the entity from API. Slash recommends is used for the custom message. Now, let's start this application. The application has started with using the port 8080. Because this application is running on my local PC, SAP Conversational AI cannot access to it. So I will use ngrok application in order to expose this application to the internet. For more details about ngrok, please check their site. Then, let's go to the platform of SAP Conversational AI. The chatbot is already created, and one intent is existing. This intent is triggered when you input test or testing in the chat window. Now, let's create the entity and get values from API. The name of entity is food menu, and its type is restricted entity. Click on the newly created entity and go inside. Then, click fetch via service API. Change the method to get and input the URL that returns all menu. Paste the host name created by ngrok, and add the path slash get underscore menu that was shown before. Authentication is not necessary in this case, and header is default. In response customization, push fetch button. It shows the response JSON data from API under body key. However it must be the array as described. Let's check how it works. At first, try the key title that has the string value. It says invalid JSON, so it is not possible to use. What about the key body that returns JSON object? Error again, it says must be an array of string values. Then, Check the key menu that returns an array. No errors, because it just returns an array of string value. Finally, select the import option, then push import button.
Values in an array are successfully fetched from the API, and imported as entity values. Next, let's create the skill in order to check the functionality of custom message. In trigger, I set the intent named test that was shown just a little while ago. So if the user input test or testing for example, this skill is started. In requirements, set the entity food menu that values are fetched from API just a little while ago. And the menu selected here is saved as selected menu in the memory. To show the menu to be selected here, use the API again by clicking consume API service under connect external service. The method is get, and the path is slash recommends this time. You can specify the name of key under API service response as you wish but I don't use it this time. So the key name is default. At first, let's show the standard message in order to encourage the user to select the menu. Now, let's create the custom message. I use list as message type, then the template script is appeared. It is necessary to edit this template to handle the data from API, but I've already created the script, so just copied and pasted it. The key menu has an array of JSON objects, and each JSON object has key's name and price. Therefore loop the array menu by each join, and get the values of name and price of each JSON, then set them as values for the list message of SAP Conversational AI. Save it, and the creation of custom message is finished. In actions, let's create the message to show the selected menu by the user. Because the selected menu in requirement is stored in the memory of SAP Conversational AI, I am referring to the value by using double curly brackets. Let's use the markdown syntax in order to make the name of menu bold type. Now, let's test the conversation. The list message set in requirement is appeared as expected. The selected menu above is correctly shown in the message with bold type. Let's test again. By the way, this is the log of this conversation. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.